How's it? Aloha and welcome back to Uncle Junior's DIY and any kind of stuff. You know, in our homes, we have what we call in Hawaii, jealousy windows. And we depend a lot of uh, the trade winds to come in and cool our homes. But sometimes those crank operators, they don't work properly, you know. Sometimes they get stuck or sometimes they just can't turn and open up the jealousy windows. So if you have this type of jealousy windows or this type of cranks, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to change that jealousy operator or jealousy crank operator and it's a simple task so stay tuned gang and uh hope you enjoy this video aloha so this uh window crank is actually so old that uh, it got rusted and as you can see uh, the bottom piece that mounts it to the frame is actually broken so we're going to replace this whole thing and the only thing that's holding this right now is uh, the arm this little screw uh, as you can see on the uh, jealousy track so remove that screw and uh, the arm should fall off now we're going to remove the crank itself and as you can see uh, this thing is so bad that it only had one or two screws holding this uh, whole crank so let's take this and then let's put on a new one How's it gang? When you're taking out that operator, that four screws that hold in uh, that crank, uh, keep in mind that on some of the really old ones, uh, you're going to try and unscrew it and it keeps spinning and spinning. So be aware of that because if that happens, then there's a knot in the back of that screw and all you need is a wrench and, or a plier, you know, hold the back knot and then unscrew it. Okay, just a, a bit of a tip. Thanks. So this is the uh, new Jealousy Crank that Uncle bought. You can uh, purchase this at any hardware store. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, when you buy uh, uh, the cranks that you buy the one with three arms, okay? Uh, what I mean is you see this arm. Uh, you need three of those in a bag, as Uncle can show you right now. The reason for that is that you want to match up one of those arms with the old one. So when you find the one that uh, matches up, uh, that's the one you're going to use. So, you know, make sure you buy the one with the three arms, not the one with just adjustable arm, okay? So right here, Uncle is just kind of lining them up um, to see which is the closest one that can match up uh, to the old one. So when you find the one that is closest uh, to the old one, that's the one you're going to use. And we're going to take that arm, that new arm, and attach it to the new Jealousy Crank. In a kit, there's this little pivot sleeve or pin. We're going to use this part first to uh, install the new arm to the crank. Now, in this uh, pivot pin or sleeve, uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, I'm going to run you through of how to install this. But anyway, you're going to take that pin and you're going to insert it into the hole of the crank's arm. Now, keep in mind, uh, it should go only one way. There's two different sides to this hole. Okay, one is flat and one is tapered. This is the tapered end and this is the flat end. Uh, it's kind of hard to see uh, uh, up close, but if I put the pin in, you'll see a difference. You see how it sits perfectly and flat inside? But if I take it out and then I put it on the other side, it sort of sits on the top. You don't want that. So take it out and use the other side. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take that arm that we found matches up to the old one and we're going to put that right on top of that pin okay see put that in a hole right on top of that pin now keep in mind you see this point this uh, screw in that faces you okay because that goes into the little hole okay and if you flip them over the flat side faces the back side of the crank okay so everything faces the front of the crank okay even the arm goes on top okay the pin goes underneath Take the new arm, put it over that. Then there's C clamp in the kit also, this black little C clamp. I'm gonna slide it in the groove, the groove that I showed you earlier. And then we're gonna grab our long nose pliers and just pinch it in. It should lock in place. Just like that. Okay? Now we're gonna take uh, the screws and the nuts. Uh, that's the parts that should be left over, and that's to attach the crank. Okay, so when uh, installing your new crank or operator, uh, you want to obviously install it on the left or the right side. Now when you purchase these cranks, which is this brand that I have, 
and they sell it at any hardware store. Keep in mind that uh, it's universal, so you, it either can go on the left side or the right side. For, so for your purpose, if it's on the right side, I'm going to put it so it, it's on your right side. So you're going to put this angle towards the inside of the window, okay? Right side. And if it's on the left side, you're going to flip it over and install it on the left side. So now we're going to insert the arm of the new crank into the slot and I'm going to uh, attach the body with these new screws. Now if you're using the new screws, um, the old hole, well the hole, the original hole is slightly smaller. So if you're using an impact driver, you can actually use the new screws to drive it in and it will be snug. But if you find that you put the new screws in and it swims, then you would need to use a lock and knock in the back. So you put the new screw in to those holes and use a locking knot to uh, tighten it. But in this case, I'm just gonna use the new screws because uh, like I said, uh, it's a little bigger and it'll uh, go in easily and tighten uh, the body of the crank. Now you're gonna insert that uh, arm into the hole and then this little screw with a washer, make sure you use the washer with the little screw and you're gonna put that little screw into that hole of the arm and you might wanna uh, hold the arm uh, against the frame. Uh, to attach the screw just like I'm doing just now and just tighten it and that's about it and then you're done the arm is installed now all we have to do is attach the other screws to the body of the crank and secure it tight to the jealousy frame and that's it and uh, when you're done tightening uh, all those screws uh, go ahead and check them out turn it open close make sure it opens all the way and then close is all the way you're done. Simple as that. How's it going, Uncle Junior? You just finally installed your first Jealousy window crank. Simple, um, as easy as Uncle explained it was, but sometimes you just kind of get those jealousies to turn. You can turn that crank and that Jealousy won't turn. And it's only one reason, it's because Russ got through those brackets and it's holding it back and it just stuck in position. So we're going to lubricate them up and then uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, follow up with that. And uh, after that, I think it should be just fine. It'll work just properly and uh, you know you can let the trade winds come back in. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, just a little bit of an, um, a tip that you can do. Okay, hello. So here's uh, one of these uh, jealousies that I just cannot turn. Uh, this was on a job site and uh, I knew that the crank operator was still in good condition. I just couldn't get the jealousies to open and close. And like I said before, it's all because of the rust and calcium deposit that makes those uh, brackets uh, frozen. So if you look here, you see these brackets uh, that I'm talking about. Uh, you have brackets on the right side and the left side, okay? And you see those little round dimples. Uh, those are the rivets that you want to um, try and lubricate, okay? So you're gonna get the, you can use WD-40 silicone spray, uh, anything that has a lubricant uh, to uh, release uh, uh, stubborn uh, knots or bolts. Yeah? In this case, we're using rivets. So you see Uncle just shooting them down. Uh, you want to catch every single bracket and every single rivet, you know, sort of soak them in, okay? And uh, let it sit, okay? And in time, uh, I would say five, 10 minutes later, uh, you can actually open and close. Uh, you know, it should uh, open and close properly. Okay, gang, so in the event that you lubricated uh, each of the rivets and you tried turning the crank and yet it's still a little stiff or hard to uh, uh, open and close, uh, the last solution is, uh, uh, takes a lot of patience, but it does work and it has worked a lot of times for uncle. Um, keep in mind though, you have to make sure that the jealousy tracks itself where the brackets are and the, where the rivets are that it's still in good condition and it's salvageable okay otherwise uh, you're just gonna waste your time but uh, this method uh, will work and uh, it, if you change your mind uh, you can actually uh, have someone come in and change the whole tracks out for you uh, something like that will run you around seven thousand seven hundred dollars you know seven to a thousand dollars all depends how big it is but it is if it is salvageable uh, i would recommend this take out all the jealousies okay all the jealousies that is pertaining to the crank, okay? We're gonna work section at a time. So take all the jealousies out, uh, get your lubricant, spray it on the left side of each of those brackets, um, including all the rivets, okay? Make sure you catch all the rivets, okay? So you do the left side 
and then the right side okay and then you grab one of those brackets okay and she'll wiggle them a little bit okay don't force it wiggle a little bit okay and she'll give okay the problem with this is that the brackets have calcium deposits and rust like i said we need to separate the rust from the actual rivets okay um so you just play with it play with it and sooner or later you're going to find that uh it, it's moving okay and then when it does then you can go up down and make sure it gets real loose you know once it gets good uh lubricate them again because you got that all free now go to the crank side okay do the same thing as i just said and once you uh, uh lubricate them again uh the crank side make sure you grab the crank handle and turn the crank handle play with it you know don't force it go a little at a time you know up down you know uh, just kind of uh, wiggle a little bit and, and you'll see that the brackets in time will get loose like, like it did on the left side okay so keep on going and then sooner or later it will break and then uh uh, it should be just fine okay like i said you need the first thing you need to do is break the rust from the metal okay so try the method and uh, let me know if it works and if it does uh let me know and uh, uh thank you for watching the video and until then uh aloha stay safe and uh, uh mahalo for watching aloha